He tries to mend a puzzle with little assistance. One by one, he matches the pieces like the others in his class. Though it is challenging for some, others love to have fun. But something is true about them. They are autistic. There's no known cause. There are various speculations in terms of what causes it. So they're looking at, okay, autism. Why do we have so many people coming up with autism? Some people are saying the age of the parents, it has not been confirmed. Some people are saying because it does not have any chromosomal uh, disorder attached to it. Some people are saying, oh, maybe it's what um, the parents ate during, um, <laughs> during <laughs> the time they were pregnant. Nobody has been able to come up to say this is it. A child with autism would not want to talk to you. Sometimes would want to stay on his own. Sometimes he's doing something and you call him or her and he appears deaf. Those are some of the significant signs of autism. The child is not communicating either socially or orally. He seems okay. smart, but Odinaka, like his classmates, living with the disorder, is being trained how to shop for items independently, a form of therapy applied on older children with autism. Yeah, you change this 240 naira. Let's clap for him. That is great. All right, thank you. Yes. We start with identification of money because some of them have issues with identifying money because this is not what they actually been exposed to even at home. Most times their parents are always be the one that do this for them, shop for them and even spend when they need to buy things. It's part of the way we um, let them get integrated into the society. They should be able to go into the shopping mall and do some shopping. What we find most is that many of the parents just want a pill that will make their children better. They ask us all the time, Kosoguni, you know? So that's, <laughs> you know, and then you have to teach them and educate them that this thing takes time. It's Not all autistic children end up being dependent. Oriofe has learned to overcome his disorder. He is now a skilled pianist and an assistant therapist who finds delight in his work. Statistics from Nigeria's Center for Disease Control indicates autism is the fastest growing developmental disability in the country with a 10 to 17 percent growth rate. Dealing with autism cases in Nigeria is challenging and therapists outline critical key factors that must be considered in bringing assistance to these vulnerable groups in the society. As you can see there are not many centers or many people knowledgeable about what autism is. It's so, so new in our environment. We would love to have a purpose-built environment. Our children love greens and they love space. So it's something that the government needs to come up with. So even, even in the hospitals, developmental pediatricians are not available. We have pediatricians. It's not all pediatricians that know about autism. Even these teachers don't even know. You know, it's not easy to detect a child with autism. And, you know, they keep beating this child because of stubbornness, because of one thing. They need to, we need to take awareness to these schools. These teachers need to be trained to be able to detect, you know, the signs of those disabilities. Although there is no known cure for autism at the moment, early intervention can help an autistic child live a fulfilling life. Esther Mariola, TVC News.